Shut your little baby mouth. Shut, shut your little baby eyes. Shut them. Now imagine a world where you're not complaining all the time so much. Act like a little baby all the time. You think you're so tough? <laughs> you think you're so tough, Ethan? You think you're so bold and brash? Coming here into my sub box, yelling at me, telling me I'm crap at art every day. You've done it for the last time. You know, you've you've insulted me. You've insulted my birds. I don't have a dog, but if I had a dog, you'd have insulted them. If, if, you, if you ever come in here again, I'm gonna fight you. Don't think I won't. Ugh. So you can play at this game. See this? Yeah. 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 All right. So how how am I how am I gonna do this? I don't earn the big boy bucks. I'm not a professional. It's time for me to like pick it up and do it properly. Should I go and learn from the master? I think I think that might be a good way of doing it, right? Hey Ethan, let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna come on your Tumblr. So who better to learn from than the man who insults you? So, Ethan's miles, miles and miles ahead of me. I feel inadequate just looking at these. Ugh, look at these lips, they're so good. Mm. All right, I saw this one, right? So this was, in, this was in one of your videos. I think this is like such a strong piece. So let's, let's, let's try this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna like pick out the shapes that I see first. So the first thing I see, big old triangle like this, um, and then the butt, obviously, very important, very important, and I mean this arm, like actually, like like anatomy, at, anat, anatomy, and anatomy, anatomy, this arm is like what the hell is going on? Yeah, like this is her bicep and her tricep. That's her shoulder. This is her elbow. What? Her forearm looks fine. But I think this is about capturing the the action. I feel. And then her thigh. Like her thigh is doing something very weird here as well. If that's her knee, then what's this joint? No, that can't be right. Ooh, or maybe it is actually. So yeah, I, I actually think this this line here, Ethan, this line here. That's a, that's a bad line. It's clearer to like show me at least that what you mean is like all of this is her thigh and this that's her short shorts and then uh, the rest of the this is the calf and that kind of like what else can we learn what else can we learn Ethan what else what else is there to learn tell me where is the top of her skull this is her chin jaw teeth Nose, nose. This is an, a really odd angle. It's, it's a real challenge, this one. When Ethan draws a skull normally, he's like, boom, boom, boom. And this is the back of your skull, and this is the front. And here's your nosey nose and your mouth, and oh, oh, and your. Oh. Anyway, that circle, I think that's the back. And this circle, I think that's the front. So that's that's the back, this is the front, and eye sockets. I think because of the really tight angle, you know, you've got your spooky scary skull face here, right? And, and they look pretty round. If you look at it like a really odd angle, the, the shape's not always dead on round. I think that's what's going on up here. Let's see if we can reproduce this face now. It's, it's, I think it's easier to draw faces the right way up. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm not a big boy yet. Maybe I don't know how to draw faces from any angle yet, but that's okay. I can just rotate the canvas, it's fine. Um, okay, so... What are we doing? Let's make another layer. So I want to find... I want to find her... her mouth in this, right? I wanna see if I can capture the pain in her eyes from having her mouth like yanked by some jerk wad. All 
All right, Ethan. All right, you gotta tell me, man. You gotta tell me, how did I do? Like, did I capture it? Did I get it? Did I do it right? Am I pleasing you? <laughs> I don't think I did it. I don't think I got it right. I can't tell. I'm not confident. I don't know. I'm not like you. What did I learn? What did I learn from doing this? Good question. Yeah, um, I don't know what I've learned yet. I need to like compile this and think about it. Okay, let's try breaking down... Let's try breaking down some of his sketches instead, right? Let's try... Uh, I'm looking for some boys. Where's some boys? Oh, them's some booties. See? Ethan knows. Uh, let's try these, uh, let's try these Name of the Wind characters. Why not? Let's, let's... Alright, let's just find the mask on each one of these boys. Let's try and... So that, you know, there's, there's like a little... But, but, but we want a nice clean, nice clean line. Um, his head might actually come up further than I first drew it up, because there's not much forehead there right now. Okay, that's fine. How do these masks look? Yeah, they're looking okay. This part of the face is, like, consistently the hardest part of the face to draw. <laughs> For me, at least. And this, uh, this sort of double skull technique is actually pretty useful, because it lets me know... If I didn't have this skull here, I might have brought it in too far, and then it would look weird. So, yeah, that's actually pretty useful. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks good. Yeah, so I don't think I, I don't think I captured him as well as I captured uh, this beautiful boy. But but this guy, yeah, I don't know. I think I, I maybe made his uh, I maybe made his face a little too long. I don't know how I managed to do that. That's basically it. That's all the light on this guy's face. The rest of the shape of, of his facial structure has to be shown by other, like, slight changes in, in color of the skin tone or with the lines. There's a little bit of light here, right? We've got light kind of coming up and around his eye. Right, so that's really helping to show the shape of his of his cheek bone, right? Because the light is on this part of the face, and it's it's just coming into the eye socket and the corner of his eye, but then like it's it's hard lining when his cheek turns into the front of his face. So all of that is just lit up but it's not quite like we can see like here but it's not all the way to the to the edge of his eye so again this is like giving us just a little bit more information about where his cheekbone is and like how is his nose shaped like if we didn't have this triangle of light here we would basically just be guessing at how his nose is shaped but because we can see that like there's a gap between this point and this point tells us that like from a forwards point of view this guy's nose is actually kind of kind of like kind of this shape you know that's that's that triangle light there so he's got like a very pointy nose but it's also quite a quite a high nose quite a pig nose you know cool yeah that's that, that's an interesting little 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 study to do I'm gonna go have some lunch Okay.
Okay, we're gonna open up Gale Tanner. All right, this is a this is a character that I made for a, for an RPG. There's a lot wrong with this picture. I like the design. I like the I like the clothes. That's about it. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I drew this without a reference. Don't you ever draw anything without a reference? Or if I did have a reference, it was a really bad reference. You need to make the drawing, make the mistakes, notice the mistakes, move on. Keep on moving, baby. Uh, this looks very stiff. She's got this giant ass hat, which I love, but I don't think I've been able to show properly like how big that hat is. Her hand is doing all sorts of weird somethings, I don't know. You know, look, look at those feet, the face, it's all flat. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna try and pass that off as, as just my style. Cause it's not, this is just a bad drawing. So let's try and, let's try and redo this. Let's try and make it better. We're gonna get into character. Time to go posing. Pretty flimsy paper. I mean, it's meant to be, it's probably meant to be a map. And she got a big jacket, big, big padded jacket. She's trying to hold on to her hat. I found a yee-haw hat. Ooh. Okay, so she wants... She wants one hand up here. Right, trying to hold on to the hat in the wind. What's she doing? She's like... There's like a vista over there. She's like just about to step up and she's like... She's like, wow! Hip! Right. A little bit of a turn. Wow! Wow! Yeah! All over the place. Her hair is like all over the place. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! There's probably something good in there. We'll find out. Okay, so I've just realized I don't want to. I don't want to use. I don't want to make a mask of my own face, because then it. Because then she's not gonna look like Gail. She's gonna look like me. So I need to find like a, a reference. I need to find a, another reference, a look-alike. I need to find like some lady who who's gonna look like like this. This is just on Pinterest. All right, let's see where it goes to. I want to try and credit her if I can. Instagram. All right, so I'm using I'm using the face of, of this lady Zas, Zastenoy. Uh, gonna use her as a reference. Okay, so we know how she smiles now. We know kind of what her face looks like when it's turned up. So between those two things, we should be able to figure out uh, how to draw Gale. Well, uh, save often, folks. You never know what'll happen. This is also taking longer than I expected. Art is hard. So I'm probably gonna turn this into like two videos or something. Uh, so come back in like two days and I'll have another one. Real talk though, Ethan, he's a good guy. He's, he's, he's like the most aggressively wholesome man I've ever seen. He's insulted me, he's insulted my dog, and I'm so thankful for it. This is like just the fire that I need up my backside to actually get good at art. He puts a lot of energy, he puts a lot of effort into these videos. <laughs> a lot more than I do. I don't know how you keep it up, man, but good on you.